Musica. One musical genius, two of his masterpieces reunited. The curtain has risen on a Tchaikovsky double bill at the Paris Opera. The opera Yolanda and the ballet The Nutcracker performed together as in 1892 when they first premiered in St. Petersburg. From the start, the main characters of the two pieces cross each other's paths, thus creating subtle hints and references. One act opera Yolanta is a fairy tale about a princess whose blindness is cured by love. Young soprano Sonia Yoncheva brings her to life. I had to understand Yolanta's world. How can one not know about the existence of light, the existence of colors and of objects, and also believe that everyone else is in the same predicament? Still, I've managed to love her totally, because this girl is so pure, she's got her own preserved world. For me, Tchaikovsky is the most Western of Russian composers. He spoke French, Italian. There's definitely a Western element in him. What's Russian is his sound, his way of combining sounds in an orchestra. It's his giving the lyrical, moving music to the strings, or the way the brass play together. It's his sound and the harmonies he uses that makes his music sound really Russian. For Yoncheva, who's from Bulgaria, the role has been a new challenge, but also has a ring of familiarity to it. This is my first Slav role, so I discovered a sound I wasn't familiar with before. It gives me the agreeable impression of being at home, also because half the cast here comes from former Soviet countries, and we're so happy to share the same sense of humor, the same words I used to hear when I was a little girl. So I've really felt like being back home in this production. This is not an extremely long role, so one's tempted to sing above the orchestra, but I think one should always find a way of working with them. So I'll get by on my own means, my all too modest means. <laughs> The opera is framed by the story of the ballet in this production. Among the gifts for the Nutcracker's Marie, there's also a performance of Yolanta, with the singer in the end embracing the young heroine. At the end, when Yolanta is no longer blind, when she can see the light, the orchestration too seems to open up towards the light, and this is what you have at the beginning of the Nutcracker, something clear, almost childish. Shifting fluently from one piece of music to the other is the most challenging part for a conductor. 